what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a table uh, from a, an external excel file so we're going to use an, ex, uh, an existing ex, uh, excel file to create a table inside an autocad application so the first thing we're going to open up the civil 3d I'm, I'm actually using civil 3d for this uh, tutorial uh, but it's also okay to use uh, the normal autocad application so let me minimize that and uh, the data that we're going to use for this tutorial uh, i have it right here on my desktop so i'm just going to double click on it so that uh, to make sure that we open it so this is the data that we're going to link to our, our autocad application so that to make sure that we create uh, a beautiful table uh, if i go back to my civil 3d application we are going to use a uh, data link manager to uh, create that particular table or to link uh, the excel data inside the uh, autocad application so there are two ways you can access the uh, data link manager the first one is to uh, click on this insert uh, insert tab and then go to linking and extraction uh, groups you will be able to see this uh, uh, data link if you click on it the data link manager is going to open up so but we're going to use the second uh, method you can access you can access the data link manager also <coughs> on this annotate tab and then under the tables group you'll be able to see this uh, link data click on link data and it's, going, it's also going to open up this uh, data link manager so yeah so under this data link manager uh, you'll see this uh, excel link you can also minimize it and uh, expand so make sure that you click on this create a new excel data link and we're going to give ours a new name let's say cassini data and uh, click ok another uh, window is going to pop, to pop up whereby you're going to specify where your data is located we're going to specify the excel data that we're going to use so i'm going to use, use this uh, browse for file but you can also specify uh, the full path where the data is located so click on this uh, three dotted button and uh, i'm going to uh, navigate to where my data is stored it is under desktop and uh, under survey data i'm going to click on it so this one we are going to specify uh, we're going to specify whether we are going we are using we are linking the entire data or we are using to we are going to select a few range you can select this uh, link to range and then go back to we can open up back to the excel file to see or to check up the links the range that we're going to use so you can see that if you want to select or to link these two columns let's say b and c only this one here you can see the first uh, cell is b1 so column and row so the first column and the uh, first row so that is b1 and it is select indicated here in, on the name box and the last one here is uh, c7 so if you specify uh, from b1 to c7 is only going to select this uh, data right here let's try and do that in uh, autocad so we said we have said that uh, our data ranges from b1 uh, press down shift and uh, column and then c7 and uh, make sure that the preview is checked and uh, click a preview You'll see that uh, now the data only the only the data that have been selected is nothing and it's in uh, columns only. So, but for this case, I'm going to use I'm going to link the entire sheet. So I'm going to uh, click back the link entire sheet, and then I'm going to click OK. Now you can see that uh, the table has been linked, and then click OK. If you're using the uh, the other version of uh, AutoCAD, you'll see that your table is attached on the uh, cursor. 
just make sure that you click anywhere inside the uh, the working space and then your table will be inserted but for this case you can see now we also need to insert the table uh, go back to annotate under tables under tables group click on table and then uh, this ins insert, insert table window is going to open up and then under the insert options we are going to uh, link it from to click this uh, from a data link uh, re radio button click on it and then click on this downward arrow to select the data unnamed mine casino data so if i click on it and uh, i click ok now uh, if i click anywhere inside this uh, uh, working space let's say i've clicked there you can see that uh, the data is almost a dot so in order to zoom it to zoom to extend uh, click on the command line and type in ze and hit enter so now we have our data right here let's say uh, you want to make some changes inside this table uh, let's say uh, the last cell this one here I want to change the coordinates of this uh, BX BX2 uh, you, it's almost it, it is impossible to make some changes just like that without doing some settings uh, so we need to do some settings uh, so that we can be able to edit or uh, add some values inside our table so if you click on that cell uh, you can see now our ribbon has changed uh, so under this cell format there is this uh, cell locking you can see our cells have been locked we need to unlock in order to uh, to do some uh, changes so click on this uh, cell locking and uh, choose unlocked just like that your cell has been unlocked and you, if you double click inside it you can do some changes let's say i want to change the value to 82 let's say something like 82000 like that and then click enter hit enter and then you can see now the data has been changed but if you go back to uh, our excel file nothing has changed if you want to change this value or to update the value so that uh, this table reflects on what is in inside the autocad application make sure that uh, your excel file is closed down first close it down and then uh, select the select the table let's say let me click there and then drag upward to select the table and uh, once your table has been selected uh, right click and we'll be able to uh, almost at the table of the uh, of this uh, window you should be able to see this uh, write data links to external source click on it so if you click on it you should be the data should be we're going to see that uh, the data link has changed so if you go back to where we we've stored our data it's uh, inside the desktop and if you open that data again or the excel file now you can see that our table our data has, uh, has changed uh, now let's say that uh, we want to change the nothing of this uh, particular station let's say i want to make it something like uh, let's say seven something like that now let's save and close it down if you go back to to our table uh, select it make it selected again and uh, right click and uh, update tables update uh, table data links click on it choose that one if we now you can see uh, our data has changed we now have the values the value that uh, the nothing value of this uh, particular station is now now reflects what is on the on the excel file right here
So ladies, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you can use uh, or you can link Excel data into uh, AutoCAD application. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, see you in the next one.